Okay, this is uh, my hamburger stretcher, what I call hamburger stretcher. And if you can't stand meatloaf, then this is not for you. Uh, but anyhow, here's uh, three and a half pounds of, um, it's 85% lean uh, uh, ground chuck. And uh, it's about three and a half pounds. Three pounds would be a little bit closer to fitting on your roasting pan. But I'm going to try to get three and a half pounds on. So anyhow, it's approximately two cups of cooking onions chopped and two cups of peppers. You can add a little bit of uh, red pepper for extra color and two hot peppers. If you have any problems with your digestion, you might want to omit the seeds in that. Uh, and also, I use lots and lots of garlic. It is good for high blood pressure, it's an antibiotic, and it is uh, antifungal. Uh, so then, I used a cup, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, two cups of my um, canned tomato juice. And I use the Nature Promise organic uh, ketchup doesn't have the high fructose corn syrup but doesn't have a lot of junk in it and in this I used the pink I'll leave it right there uh, the pink uh, Himalayan salt because it's got a lot of minerals in it so you don't have to with this it doesn't cause the raise of, uh, raising of the blood pressure so I'm going to use, and it's a mild salt, so I'm going to use about two teaspoons of the Himalayan pink salt in it. The one bad thing I'm going to use is the Worcestershire sauce. And you look on the back and you will see that uh, if you're diabetic, you want to steer away from high fructose corn syrup. It does have high fructose corn syrup in it. So you have to really check the labels on everything when you're diabetic. But that's the one bad thing I'm going to put in um, because it does add flavor. I'm going to use a tablespoon of that. So in here I have um, my salt, my pepper, my... Uh, uh, my uh, pepper flakes and um, I am not this is going to be gluten free I'm not using any oatmeal uh, so it doesn't hold together as well as it does with oatmeal but this is the way I'm going to do it and three beaten eggs okay here's my three and a half pounds of ground beef uh, turned into nine hamburger stretcher patties uh, now, I did use two cups of my tomato juice, which is a thinner uh, juice than what you get at the market. Uh, so, um, the next time I may try just one and a half uh, cups, which the last few times I've used two cups. Now, the issue is when you take your roasting pan out of the oven, you want to be very, very careful because what you have here is you have kind of like little meatloaf uh, patties that really don't have any gluten in it like the oatmeal to absorb some of the moisture. So, so some of the some of the tomato juice uh, from the peppers, the juice from the hamburger and all is going to be down that bottom of that pan. So you're going to have a good bit of juice that's going to be, or broth, that's going to be down at the bottom of your roasting pan. So when you take it out, you just want to be careful that um, you don't burn yourself or spill some of that juice out of your roasting pan. Now this is kind of an old time roasting pan that I've had for a good while, so it does hold a good bit of the, of the broth, but I'm sure the newer ones probably don't, um, probably not as deep as this. So anyhow, uh, I put my oven at 400. I'm preheating it for a confection bake, which is going to take and rotate the heat, and it does cook quicker. So it's going to be hard for me to tell you a time on this. Uh, I check it after around 35 minutes on at 400 on confection uh, bake. But if you're just using a regular bake, it may be more like an extra 10 minutes or it may not you just have to cut one open and make sure just like what the way you test for meatloaf uh, you want to test for these and uh, you want the the liquid to run clear you don't want it to be uh, 
bloody or anything. So it, you just kind of treat it this like you would hamburger and meatloaf. Uh, so that's it, and it does stretch three and a half pounds of hamburger. You get a pretty good bit of meals out of it, and I freeze some of these, and it's a quick a quick meal for a later point. And I did use um, my frozen green peppers that I chopped from the garden. So this um, this is some you know pretty large pieces of the chopped green pepper that I, I didn't get very finely chopped, but um, this is not this is not a fancy dish. This is just an old-fashioned um, concoction of um, hamburger stretcher.